If you want to advertise on your mobile applications, you might have heard the name of Google Ad Mob. In this video, I will show you how you can integrate your mobile applications with ads from Google Ad Mob. So to start off, I have set up an account on Google Ad Mob, which allows me to uh, create ads. Uh, there's a lot of material available there. It's a very simple, straightforward setup with few clicks. And then uh, I also was able to get some instructions on how to do it. They even gave me some sample ad IDs that I can use it, but even creating your own was also easy. So I went ahead and created my own. These are all test ads, I think. Now, uh, on the awesome side, what I'm going to do later on is use this plugin, Google Ad Mob. This plugin has uh, actions and widgets that can be used to achieve the integration quite fast without worrying about all the coding that is uh, mentioned on the Google side. To do this, uh, I'll start from scratch by building an application just to show you that there are no additional steps uh, in creating the application. So I'll call it OS How To. How about I upload an icon, the same flower icon, and I create the application. There's the application detail screen, by the way, where you can have multiple modules of screen. Here you go. I'm going to get started with the first module. Usually I don't do this part. I'm already inside a module, but in case you're wondering, you can create modules there. And now we are inside a module. Now for this particular one, I don't need to create any data models and stuff. So I'll straight away jump into the ad mob integration. So once you install this plugin, Google ad mob, you will have access to a lot of server actions and widgets like shown here. You can explore that and forge. I'll, I'll remember to leave a link in the description. Now I've already installed it. So I'm going to add the reference from this application to the ad mob. It's here. And uh, there are many actually, maybe perhaps in this video, I can pick up one. There are different kinds of ads, I believe based on my limited reading, banner ads, interstitial ads, rewarded ads. These are different kinds of ads. So maybe I'll pick banner ads in this video. So this is the one that I'm going to use later on, but it also needs several core functions like checking whether the plugin is available or not. And under ad mob also, you might as well use both ad mob start and uh, get SDK version. I'll show you later on where this is ease. And uh, display the banner ad, this one is also needed. And I think uh, this one is one of the fundamental mobile ad based on how I use this. So load and show are the ones I'm going to use it, hide and uh, get it in that ID itself explanatory later on once you see what I'm doing. Let me see if I need anything else. Okay, I think that's all. So we've added, uh, just to summarize, we've added a reference to the uh, UI flow here. This has some events I'll show you in a while. And we have added a reference to some of the client actions. Uh, out of this check Google ad, it's something that we need to use for checking. And then these are additional ones to make sure the SDK is properly loaded. Thereafter, we'll use set banner ad and load and show to display the ad. I think that's all. So I'm going to uh, apply it. And then uh, let's go ahead and build a new screen. I can call it home. Basically, in this app, I don't want to do anything beyond just displaying the ad. That's the home. So maybe the ad will display somewhere at the bottom. That's the eventual goal. Uh, perhaps what I can do is have a button to trigger that event. I can call it show ad. Okay, and uh, when somebody is loading this page, right? So we'll come back to the button click in a while. When somebody is clicking on this page, so if you select the screen, you also have events here. Maybe on ready, we can do those checks whether SDK is there or not. So on ready, uh, this is where we can do those checks. So after adding the references, those actions are available here. If you expand it, you can see all the ones here. The ones that I'm interested in, the ad mob. So let's see if the SDK version is loaded or not. Then we can use the assistant to make sure if it's there or not. So if it's not there, uh, perhaps we have to, let's see if it's uh, loaded is equals to true. So if it's true, uh, then it's good. We can continue. If it's not, maybe we can call the ad mob start so it can load the SDK. Come here, let me swap the connectors to make it make some sense. So if it's true, 
it goes here if it falls it goes here so if it's false what i'm doing is i'm starting the add mob okay that will start the sdk and all the stuff and then thereafter we can end this on ready that's it what we need from the on ready now let's go back to our screen so we have made sure the sdk is loaded now on this button part here we have to provide the logic to display the ad so uh we can go there by double clicking and then uh, one by one, we'll first check if the plugin is available. If the plugin is available, we can use the if condition here. If it's available, if it's not available, I will display a message. Add mob not available. Let this be a warning. And if it's available, that's where we're going to start using those uh, those additional client action. So the first one is setting the banner ad. So here you go. And set banner ad is the most important one where you have to provide the uh, these values, main being the ad unit ID. If you remember, this was the one that is uh, there here, available here. So I can just copy after clicking the ad. Uh, by the way, as I was mentioning earlier, if you don't have that, Google also gives you a lot of these samples. If you want to use any of these things, you can also just copy and use, you know, that also works. So if you go back, how you provide it is inverted commas in and paste. Other things are also there. I mean, if you have more experience with Google ads or mobile ads, you will be able to figure out. The most important one is, is testing. I was reading the documentation of the Forge plugins. This you must set to true in case you're testing. If you're not, there's a chance that Google might block your account. After this, we have to use uh, these two in conjunction so first goes the load like this and load will have the uh, banner ad that came from set banner ad which is in suggestions and then show and same banner okay with this i think we are set i can end the flow one last thing we'll go back to the screen and we'll uh, drop the ui block so the ui block is here and add events. It basically has events that you can use to trigger some sort of logic. I'm going to drop it here, maybe. Okay, or maybe at the bottom of the page. So it's here. But I put it here and move it on top. Okay. And that's it. Uh, let me just make the permissions correct so I can allow anonymous and publish. So that's how you can uh, use the other kind of ads also. They were, I think, in Sish something. And uh, uh, the reward ads and the other kind of ads, like full page ads. And additionally, on each of these actions that you have for displaying the ads, which is the set banner ad, set the other kind of ads, you have additional configurations to define how big or how wide the ads should be. So it's published, it's ready. Uh, now this kind of application, because it uses the SDK from Google, the AdWord, that SDK, it will not uh, show the ads on the uh, browser emulator. Let me show you what I mean. So if I launch the app here in the emulator and I click on show ad, the ad mob is not available. That's the message I put it for the false branch, if you remember. So to be able to test it, you need to go back and generate the Android application. So it's the same application details screen where I was creating the module, the, the first model which was there. And now if I go to the distribute, that's where I can generate the mobile application in Android. So I'll just click on that button. I'm generating Android application. It may take a few seconds. So I'm going to pause the video for a while. So it's preparing right now. It will take maybe 10 to 20 seconds, depending on how big the app is. So I have the QR code right now. My mobile application is ready for Android. I'm scanning the QR code right now to install it on my phone. Meanwhile, this happens. Let me also start connecting my uh, phone here so I can show you exactly what I see. So I've just uh, scanned the QR code and that's what I got. And I've downloaded the APK. I'm going to open it to install. And there's my phone. Now in this case, the ad mob plugin will be available. It will go to true branch. So that's how it looks, show ad. And if I tap onto this, I see a nice ad at the bottom. And that's how the banner ads work. Thanks for watching.